where does the passion come to basically perform for 50 years what you've done? Well, I guess it's something I, I kind of knew about when I was just a child, but you know, I mean, I, did, I didn't exactly know what I was going to do, but I, I knew early on I was going to be involved in um, some form of entertainment because uh, I, I just, it was just something I knew as a kid. I didn't know if it would be in acting or it would be in music or, or I'd be a visual artist, um, but I knew I was going to be in some form of the art world. Um, from the time I was probably uh, five or six years old, I just, uh, I was avidly listening to records and uh, I was a closet singer because when I was a kid, you know, it was, uh, for, for boys to sing was kind of considered to be a, a sissy, sissy thing to do, you know, in the environment that I grew up in, but there were, there were uh, some great records in my parents' record collection. My parents were a little bit older than my peers' parents, and so I was listening to, to some of the crooners. I was listening to Sinatra. And um, I was listening to Ella Fitzgerald and um, Benny Goodman, some of the big band orchestras. So, so my musical influences were a little different than the early rock influences of most of my peers. And um, so it was probably about age 13 I, I started actually singing in public. My voice changed early. <laughs> and uh, my mom encouraged me quite a bit in that, in that direction. But I, I think, you know, when you say the passion to keep or compassion to keep singing, uh, for 50 years, um, you know, I mean, I don't want to take too much credit. Sometimes you just do the only thing you know how to do, or the only thing that, that uh, you really know you've got to do. So, um, 50 years later, it looks like, you know, a great accomplishment, but all the way along the line, you know, you really never know how long you're going to keep doing it. Mm -hmm.